Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. We are looking at Tuesday's price action in the S&P, that is July uh, 23rd. And uh, the, the, the future started up about 8 or 9 points. But as soon as the market opened, you can see that there was uh, a, a breakdown in the, in the S&P. However, if you see the ticks, uh, the ticks remained above zero. And some of it could be, uh, you know, the pre-market uh, pent-up demand, but uh, yeah, it, uh, this is too long for that. And just briefly, it dips below the zero line. The uh, custom RSI, of course, will go below because the custom RSI is purely a price action indicator. And uh, it was telling you to be bearish. However, as, as we know, uh, the ticks are above zero. And of course, the futures also started uh, above zero. And so there was no bearish trade at all. And uh, even coming here, you can see now the ticks are going above zero. However, you can see the RSI is still not in the bullish zone. And it never really gets there, just briefly touches it over here. So there's no trade. And you can see that you know, in the first one, one and a half hours, now you're getting all this data coming in. And even though there's some sluggishness in the price action, the, uh, the tick action clearly telling you that uh, you've got to be ready for a, uh, a bullish trade. And then once you see these two or three things increasing over here, and finally, when it goes into the bullish zone, uh, you know, on this bar right there, uh, it, uh, it jumps into the bullish zone. Uh, that's when uh, you could have probably taken a trade, maybe a bit early. But uh, regardless, you want to see some, but, but the ticks are persistently moving higher. Granted, there is one red dot every now and then, but regardless, it's moving higher. As you can see, the graph is moving higher. And sure enough, then something happened uh, uh, over here, which just pushed the markets uh, over completely. And from then on, you can see that uh, the RSI really doesn't uh, come into the bearish zone until the very close. Uh, even, even at close, it still remains in the bullish zone. So this somewhere here, if you had taken a trade, uh, yeah, this could have uh, gone on for quite a while. Uh, you know, you can see a lot of persistence here. There is, of course, some red dots in between. Uh, but like I said, you want to see the overall trend. You want to see the custom RSI remain in the bullish zone. And uh, as long as the ticks are much higher than uh, zero and uh, it's, it doesn't show signs of uh, degradation, uh, you know, you can stay in the trade. So if you had gotten into the trade somewhere somewhere here, I would say, uh, which was a level of 29.94, you could have probably ridden it at least till here. Granted, once you see these two or three red dots, you might have got out. Uh, but that's a that's a nine point increase there, which is a clear fifteen hundred dollar profit on the SPX, and that was the only trade for the day. Because after that, uh, you know, although uh, you know, if you wanted to get in somewhere here, you could have, but then you wouldn't have got out at all if that was the case. Uh, so I think one trade of about nine to ten points on the S&P and on a five contract thirty five delta position that would work out to about fifteen hundred dollars. So this would be the great trade for. Uh, for uh, July 23rd, which was the Tuesday. The SPX ticks as well as the custom RSI are uh, custom indicators and algos. If you have any questions, you can go to this bit.ly link, uh, bit.ly slash SPX algo, and you can find more information on how to get these indicators. Thank you.